name is Shishara Fernanda from Pals.LK and we are here at the Golf Ace Hotel to partake in a culinary and cultural evening featuring magnificent opera performances along with a silent auction. But all the proceeds from tonight will go towards the restoration of St. Anthony's Shrine Kochikade. The night is still young and buzzing and the crowd is fantastic. So keep watching as we take you through today's events. Carla Brown right now, also known as Suduama. Tell us how you're enjoying your night today. I think it's wonderful. I think what Barbara has done with these Sri Lankans to get them into that perfection of opera is extraordinary. One would never think that Sri Lankans would want to be in opera. And what they've done tonight is superb. Really um, tingling. Yes. <laughs> so we're at intermission right now. What do you think of the performances that went on earlier tonight? I think fantastic. Just, just mind. Not, it's not mind-boggling, but it's mind-tingling. The, the, the notes and the passion and the. Um, it's fantastic. I'm so proud that. And these Sri Lankans who are singing so beautifully. It's amazing. That's right. So the proceeds of tonight's event goes towards uh, the Kochikade Church. What do you have to say about that? Fantastic. I mean, I think all the affected from the bombs. Um, all the help is needed. You know, the, forget those who died, but it's who, those who are left behind with no hands, no eyes, no, and they need a lot of help. And it's not one day, it's permanent, and they need so much help. And people actually don't think about this. They, oh, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's, it's these families, it'll go on and on and on. The family has no mother or father or the child who is blind or has no leg. It's terrible. And people don't know about it. Well, they do, but they don't realize. So tell us, what do you think of events such as this, especially after the tragic events that happened, events such as this coming up, and Sri Lanka gathering around, not just Sri Lanka, but foreigners, the local, the foreigners, everyone gathering around and coming up for this cause. What well, do you think you of that? You see, it, uh, it's, um, forget the tragedies, but, um, the industry, the tourist, tourism industry, it's not just the hotel owners, the villa owners. It goes down to the coconut picker who's lost his job picking coconuts. So it comes all the way down the ladder. It's, 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 the effect is terrible. And we need to get tourism back because so many people rely on tourism. It's very important in this country. So if you have one final message to our viewers out there about the event and about its cause, what would you have to say? Come back to Sri Lanka. If you're putting this out to, to, to tourists or whatever, look, we've been through, we, I say, the war. We've been through the tsunami. We've been through, but we, Sri Lanka, we have survived. We'll survive again. Come back, help this country. That's what I say. now who attended today's event. Tell us how you're enjoying your night today. I'm having uh, an amazing night. It's very nice to see European opera here in Sri Lanka. It's a special, special occasion, definitely. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts about the cause of today's event? I understand the proceeds go to uh, the Kuchikare Church uh, in Sri Lanka. What do you have to say about that? I think it's uh, a beautiful thought and a very nice gesture. Um, and I can't praise it enough towards people to keep coming to Sri Lanka even after the bombing. I've been living here now for half a year and I love this country. I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon and I wish for everyone to come here and experience that as well. Um, so earlier in the night we saw a couple of performances. Uh, what would you have to say about that? I was very impressed actually. I watched a lot of opera when I was a small girl with my dad. He was an opera singer so I knew quite a lot of uh, a lot of the songs they were performing and it was very nice to see them being 
performed by young artists actually other than the older generation. So my final question to you is, if you had one final message, not just to the locals, but uh, to those abroad as well, what would you have to say? Oof, one message, um, enjoy music, it's universal and come to Sri Lanka. today's event. Hi gentlemen, tell us how are you guys enjoying tonight? Oh, we're loving it. This is our first opera um, performance and it's really been enjoyable. Really in love it, loving the experience. What do you think Leroy? Oh well, yeah, like we've only been here in Sri Lanka for one month and we just experienced the opera and it's such an experience and yeah it's been good. So with the recent uh, events that has been happening in the country, the proceeds from this event goes towards the Kochikari church that was affected. What are your thoughts on that? That's, that's great because honestly, just from travelling around this country, I was, I, we, we've been seeing all the places that are affected, that are living day by day to get by and they're really struggling. So it is really a good event to really help, help the people that need it, which is really nice. What are your thoughts? Oh, well... We did a safari today and everyone's just very happy. Like we've noticed like in Colombo at the moment, all the people are so happy and yeah, it's just good to see the people just still smiling every day. So with one month in the country, tell us what have you experienced firsthand about the country? We've experienced, we've experienced a lot of things, a lot of highs and lows, a lot of, we've, we've, a lot of like our friends from the doctor's house have been looking after us. So, if you haven't already been there, go there, they're, they're really good. So they've taken us in a couple um, safaris and they've taken us down the southern bit of um, Sri Lanka and really got to enjoy the culture and they took us to some really nice Sri Lankan food and it was a great experience and we just, we just love seeing, seeing different cultures and how, how everyone gets along and it's, great. it's been a great experience so far. Are these the same experiences that you've gone through as well? Oh yeah, very similar experience. I could relate to my mate Jack, but um, just the people, like in general, like how um, after everything that's happened, that like everyone's so um, like positive and always smiling. That yeah, and it's good. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so we've seen a couple of performances from the opera today. What are your thoughts about that? Since it's your first time. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect coming into this, but it's been it's been something I will not forget. Um, it's amazing what it's amazing what everyone can do with their voices. Like it's crazy. It's really been such a good experience, and this won't be my last opera. Definitely would not be my last. What do you have to say? Oh, about the opera. Oh, like it has been such a like touching a moment for us, me and Jack. Like. We've always loved our music and everything, but we've we've never been into opera. But this is our first time, like getting into and checking out opera. And yeah, oh yeah, and it's been such an experience. And yeah, it's been such good for the Sri Lankan like people inviting us to come and check it out. And yeah, it's been so good. So, gentlemen, my final question to you is: If you had one final message, not just to the locals but those abroad as well, what would you have to say? My one is respect everything that's going on at the moment, respect what's happening at the moment and, in, you know, and just enjoy, enjoy each other and have an understanding that there is a, the situation that happened and you've got to be respectful of how everyone's um, adapting to it at the moment and everyone's so positive, it's, it's good, the, it's a contagious, contagious how everyone's so happy, so it's really, it's really nice. Yep. What do you have to say? Oh, oh. We're, we're just loving that everyone's so happy at the moment, like like it's so hard to be so happy after the situation that's happened, but um, yeah, like just, yeah, exactly, like it just enjoy what it is and yeah.
Excellency David McKinnon right now, the High Commissioner of Canada. Tell us, sir, how are you feeling tonight? Oh, really enjoying the evening. It's great. I mean, it's, uh, you know, be able to enjoy an evening of opera in Colombo is really fantastic. And it's sort of an example of the syncretic culture in this country that uh, makes it such a wonderful place to live. So I understand that your bid for uh, the weekend stay at the Echo Lake House, you won that bid. Tell us, what are you feeling about winning it and what do you feel about contributing to a cause such as uh, this? Well, I think there are two parts to that. One is that I'm very happy to be able to contribute to the rebuilding of St. Anthony's in Cochicada. But the other one is to have a good excuse to go up to Polonaru and spend a couple of days. Because I've only been driven through there for work, and so it's very cursory. So to be able to go up and have a couple of days to go and spend with my wife and, and enjoy uh, looking around Polonaru, it's fabulous. So today's events uh, revolves around the whole cause of rebuilding, mm -hmm. contributing, rebuilding yeah. uh, the church. What would you have to say about events such as this, especially after the events uh, in Sri Lanka? What would you have to say about the events such as this uh, coming up and making sure that the locals and the foreigners get together and rebuild Sri Lanka? Oh, that's a tough question. I mean, I, I, you know, the events of April 21st were really terrible. And I mean, we all felt for that and all around the world we really felt for that. So I think it's important to find a way to help Sri Lanka rebuild. And that's really about bringing communities together and making sure that they really feel, you know, Sri Lankans all feel that they come together, all the foreigners feel that they come together. And, uh, and, and so that uh, is at the end of the day what, what's important here, I think. Uh, today's evening is uh, filled with a lot of entertainment, a lot of opera. Yeah. What would you have to say about the performances that we saw a few moments ago? Oh, the performances are fabulous. I mean, I, I, that's I said. It, for me, I mean, I'm a big fan of opera and I'm a big fan of Sri Lanka and to be able to bring these two things together in one place is really lovely. group right now who made the winning bid for a private dinner for six. Tell us guys, how did you enjoy your evening tonight? It was beautiful, we really enjoyed everything. What did you say Mr. Krupu? It's great, you had good food. What are your thoughts about the performances that were showcased today? We enjoyed every number, it was really well organized and they all were so talented. What do you have to say? <laughs> Same. It was good. Uh, they did a wonderful job, and we enjoyed. It was so, something special. I'm sorry. Uh, are you excited about your private dinner for six? Yeah, we are very much excited. We love food, and more than that, we love giving back. And we were waiting to do something for the church, so this presented itself at the perfect time. What do you think about events such as this coming together, uh, bringing together uh, locals and foreigners to uh, help rebuild Sri Lanka? What are your thoughts on that? It's the best ever that we can imagine for right now, especially at this time. with Mr. Dimel right now of Louis Arangs. I must ask you, how did you enjoy your evening tonight? Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I mean, what a fabulous street and a surprise too, uh, you know, to see opera in Sri Lanka and Colombo. It was wonderful. I had a completely unexpected and very, very entertained and thrilled. Mr. Dimel, on behalf of everyone, I would like to thank you for your generous uh, donation towards the restoration of uh, uh, the shrine uh, in Kochigade. Uh, I must ask you, how did you enjoy the performances tonight? There were a lot of magnificent opera performances. How did you enjoy them? It's very nice. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, what a treat. That's right. Yes, and absolutely uh, congratulations for Golface for putting this fabulous show and bringing us all together. And uh, you know, may they get to do this more. Mr. Demel, what do you think of uh, events such as this coming around, especially after the incidents? What do you think of events such as this uh, gathering, not just locals, but foreigners as well, uh, to rebuild Sri Lanka? What are your thoughts on that? Absolutely. Uh, we need a lot more. We need lots, hundreds more. Uh, and uh, we need uh, to have the 
atmosphere of the place uh, change into a positive mood and uh, getting us all together. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the Pulse of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To catch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living.